Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for Upper Intermediate to Advanced English Learners. Ready? Let's get started. B2 C1 English Story The Summer Walk Julie and Lily were two best friends who loved exploring new places and embarking on exciting adventures together. One sunny morning, they decided to go for a long walk in the picturesque English countryside. They packed a small picnic basket full of delicious treats, including sandwiches, mini sausage rolls and fruit, and set off on their journey. As they strolled along a narrow path, they took in the beautiful landscape around them. The vibrant wildflowers swayed in the meadows, painting a vibrant tapestry of colours. Julie and Lily could not help but stop every now and then to take pictures of the painting-like scenes that lay before them. They came across a sparkling river, meandering through a valley. The water glistened under the warm sunlight, inviting them to dip their feet in. They laughed as they threw off their shoes and socks. The cool sensation of the water against their skin brought smiles to their faces, making them feel refreshed and rejuvenated in the summer sunshine. Continuing their walk, they entered a dense forest. Tall, ancient trees towered over them, forming a canopy that filtered the sunlight, casting a mystical glow on the forest floor. Birds chirped melodiously, creating a serene ambience that made them feel at peace. As they trekked further, they stumbled upon a hidden waterfall, the cascading water creating a soothing symphony that resonated through the surroundings. They were mesmerised by the sight. They sat on a nearby rock and enjoyed the peaceful sounds and the refreshing mist that gently kissed their faces, cooling them down. Feeling hungry after their long walk, Julie and Lily decided to find a place to have their picnic. They followed a winding path that led them to a quaint village. They sat on a bench and had a couple of their sandwiches. Then they noticed amidst a few charming cottages stood a posh pub with a lovely garden. The aroma of delicious food wafted through the air, enticing their taste buds. They entered the pub and found a cosy corner table. The atmosphere was warm and inviting, with soft music playing in the background. The friendly waiter handed them menus, filled with a wide variety of mouth-watering dishes. After much contemplation, they made their selections. The food arrived, beautifully presented on pretty mismatched plates. Julie savoured her grilled chicken with a side of crisp vegetables, while Lily indulged in a pasta dish, topped with a rich tomato sauce and sprinkled with freshly grated cheese. She couldn't get enough of cheese. The flavours exploded in their mouths. Between bites, they shared stories and laughter, taking pleasure in the joy of each other's company. The pub had an enchanting ambience and they lost track of time as they enjoyed the delightful meal. After their satisfying lunch, Julie and Lily thanked the staff for their friendly service and continued their journey with their hearts and bellies full. As the sun started to set, they made their way back home, reminiscing about the beautiful sights they had seen and the delicious food they had enjoyed. Their long walk in the countryside had been a perfect day filled with adventure, beauty and friendship. Julie and Lily knew that they would cherish this experience forever, 
and that more exciting journeys awaited them in the future. Now, let's go through some of the vocabulary from this story. We'll start with the advanced vocabulary. Filter. To filter. To filter means to appear or happen gradually or to a limited degree. There are other meanings of to filter, but this is the meaning in this story. To glow. To glow is to produce a continuous light and sometimes heat. Sometimes, if you think someone looks particularly healthy, you can say that they glow. To indulge. To indulge is to allow yourself or another person to have something enjoyable, especially more than what is good for you. So you might indulge and have some sweets or a cake or too many sausage rolls. Quaint. Quaint means attractive because of being unusual and especially old fashioned. Serene. If something is serene, it is peaceful and calm and worried by nothing. Soothing. Soothing. If something is soothing, it has a calming effect and a relieving effect. To stumble. To stumble can have many meanings. For example, to fall over or to stumble your words. But in the story, to stumble means to come across something by surprise or by accident. I stumbled into the woods and saw the beautiful waterfall, for example. Refreshed. Refreshed. To be refreshed is to be less hot or tired. I felt very refreshed after my lemonade. Now let's go through some of the upper intermediate vocabulary from the story. Bench. Bench. A bench is a long, usually hard seat for two or more people and is often found in a public place. You will find lots of benches in parks or by the seaside. Delightful. Delightful. If something or someone is delightful, then they are very pleasant, attractive or enjoyable. Dense. Dense. Dense has a few different meanings, but in this story it means having parts that are close together so that it is difficult to go or see through the dense forest or the dense woodland. Gently. To do something gently means to do it in a gentle manner or to a gentle degree. Mist. Mist. Mist is the thin fog produced by very small drops of water collecting in the air just above an area of ground or water. Picturesque. Picturesque means attractive in appearance, especially in an old-fashioned way. So a lot of British uh, villagers are picturesque and quaint. And a little bit posh, which leads us to our next word, posh. Posh means expensive and of high quality. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. You can find the link in the description box below. See you soon.